Hey, good back. Welcome back to the channel. Good Friday morning. 83 degrees at 9.13. We'll call it 9.15 and it is August 30th. Uh, they're going to get two videos in one week from me. Wow. Big surprise. Hey, before we get too involved, how about a big thumbs up? You know, subscribe, hit that like button. You know, smash that notification bell. So I stopped by my indie pendant Harley mechanic um, on Wednesday and um, he told me a neat nice little trick that he does to check fuel economy because he said the bike runs too good for anything to be wrong with it like I suspected and you know I suspected the float and he told me he goes man he goes you know it's really hard to get at that float even with a fuel nozzle so he said do this he goes pack the motorcycle full of fuel he goes put as much fuel in it as you can early in the morning and go for a hundred mile ride pull into the gas station fill it up again take those gallons and divide by the hundred and he goes you should get a really accurate you know miles per gallon there i am lollygagging got people crawling up my butt and i'm always the one complaining about people going slow i just wanted to get that truck up ahead dropping all the uh, crap off of the back of it some distance so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do I am uh, just sticking a um, regular highway here county county state highway I don't know what it is it's 301 and uh, I'm heading up to the next town which is Waimuma or Waimama I don't know, yo mama? And there's a Wawa gas station right there. I don't think I'm going to make the 100. I think it's going to be slightly more than 100. But it'll still give me a ballpark figure of my actual miles per gallon to see if the bike is burning an abnormal amount of fuel or if it's pretty spot on. I would think anything... You know, mid to high 30s would be good. I, I think anything over 30, 30, yeah, let's call it 34. Anything over 34 MPG, I'm going to be good because, I mean, I'm aggressive. I, I mean, I twist that throttle. I mean, you know, first and second gear, I'm shifting 5,000 RPM pulling away from red lights. I, I want the people behind me, way behind me. So that's that. And speaking of red lights, you know, I wish our uh, current legislative governor, government body here in Florida would allow lane filtering for us motorcycles. You know, especially at traffic lights. I mean, there's nothing more unnerving than sitting at a traffic light and watching the bozo behind you with the cell phone stuck up into their face and they're creeping closer and closer and closer. You know, you're, you're flashing your brake lights and you know, they're still coming closer and closer. And I had one more on the other day, got within like about two inches. I think if I had my wife on the back, she could have reached behind her and smacked the hood of their car. So. That's that. So we're going to be in this gas station, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep you in here the whole 10 minutes. That's pretty boring. Um. Maybe I'll bring you in when I do the math. Ha! Me and my map. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but it should be easy. Figure, you know, two gallons into 100, that's 50. 2.5, you know, that's 40. So, we'll see. I mean, I do expect to get close to 40 on the interstate cruising 70, 75. I haven't been out on the interstate in quite some time for any length of time. I, you know been sticking to all the back roads with my back issue and everything else and uh so. oh did I make mention I finally have my car my car is home I will show you that when I get home after 137 days I finally got my car it looks good there was only one fault that I found. They left the third brake light un unplugged. So, luckily I didn't have to crawl too far into the trunk. I just managed to reach in and uh, figure out which way the plug went in in uh, two minutes. 
two minutes sticking my finger in a blind hole. Wow, that sounded pretty perverse. But anyways, yeah, so that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Let me get to this gas station and I'll, uh, yeah, we're going to be way over. I got 97.7 there right now. Yeah, I'm going to probably be close to 100 and 107, probably about another nine miles, maybe 10 ish. So, yeah, let me do that. You guys stick around and I'll do the math. <laughs> All right. People, so I put in. I put in 2.65 gallons and I went, how far did I go? I went 102, so. So calculator, 102 divided by 2.6, 2.65 equals, I'm getting 38 miles to the gallon. I can't complain about that all right so with that being said now I know the float is screwed up and I don't know how that happened so I know I need some juice for my phone hmm yeah no fancy editing today so 30 38 was that a 102 divided by 2.65 equals yeah 38 and I even got on it a couple of times you can see that that my math is correct if my math is wrong somebody please correct me so wow yeah um, I honestly uh, now I know the float is not accurate I'm gonna reset that trip meter and I am going to do this whole test one more time. I'm going to do this test one more time. So. of action what is it I don't know uh, let me run it by my uh, I'm gonna run it I'll text my independent mechanic and tell him and see what he says he's probably gonna laugh at me again I don't mind being laughed at I'll laugh with you Nah, we'll laugh together that's what we'll do and we'll probably um, well I'm gonna have him throw on a new set of <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll post a picture the, the, the Hoopties handlebars uh, Invicta Hoopties handlebars they're, they're, they're like T-bars but for street glides with easier installation without having to relocate your uh, ignition switch and all that other stuff so yeah I'm gonna go that it's gonna be a big money it's gonna be a big money mod but I want to be comfortable these handlebars are 40 almost 42 inches across end to end and that's way too wide for my style of riding I want something closer so the ones I'm gonna get are 30 I believe they're 31 inches across so I'll be you know bringing 31 inches is going to be here someplace and they're going to they're going to be the same height and being the same height yeah 
I'll be able to, you know, rip up the turn, the um, twisties. But all we have down here for twisties in Florida is on and off ramps. Now yeah, we got a few here and there, but I'll be able to do my uh, slow speed maneuvering and all that other nonsense effortlessly. So they do practice that a lot, and it's very hard when you can't, you know, when your left hand stretched way out and you can't work the clutch in the friction zone. You know, while you're going, you're taking a shot, you know, a left hand turn, pocket lot, and you, you know, your fingertips are barely on the throttle, and you should have it preloaded. So, yeah, I know, I complain, but that's my job. I'm retired, I complain. I think it's funny, uh, you know, colleague reached out to me, you know, chatted it up, you know, Facebook friends now, and geez, now everybody I work with, names I haven't even heard of, and, oh, let's see, when did I retire? 2009, and people I haven't heard from of since 2009 are all requesting, you know, friend acceptance, and, uh, not that I don't want to accept them, it's just that I'm not sure of their views. Is that how we should say it? You know, their, their, their views. And um, if you people know me, I mean, I'm pro Second Amendment, I'm pro life. Um, you know, born again Christian, and you know, I'm, um, I'm pretty concerned. I don't think I'm a right wing nut job but I am very conservative wow look at all this but hey I don't know can you see those uh, cows out there my future dinner swimming that's pretty cool I hope you could see that yeah I can turn my head and look and not crash um, yeah not not many people can do that a lot of people go where they're looking uh, not me I can uh, I can do two things at once I can even chew bubble gum and walk so, I know, I, I've, I've talked to a few, uh, way back in the day, you know, before everybody started having GoPro cameras and Insta360 cameras on their helmets, you know, early 2000s, I, you know, talked to a couple of motor cops and they said, geez, you know, you can do that, you know, that's pretty nifty. And, uh, you know. so... I'm going to take a little ride. I got to go home and uh, I got to put gas in the facade because that gas that's in that car is, well, it's now a hundred and, well, I picked it up, what, two days ago, so 137 and two is, uh, makes it 139. That gas is 139 days old and it was, you know, just but just about a quarter of a tank, maybe a little less than a quarter of a tank, and I want to put some good quality gas in there, not so much premium. I'll probably get a bottle of dry gas and throw some dry gas in there to absorb any moisture. I mean, we've had some hot, humid, and hellacious rain. So, yeah, I will do that. Uh, well, 38, 38 point something miles to the gallon. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't seem right, but it is what it is. Math doesn't lie. 102 divided by, what did I say, 2.65? Yeah, it comes out to what the calculator said. 30-something, 30 38. Yeah, so what's up with my fuel gauge, people? Sending unit? Yeah, uh, just unreliable, un just unreliable, um unreliable trip computer yeah I'm gonna have to try to once I burn off more than half a tank I'm gonna try to um, what I'm gonna try to look in the tank with a mirror and a cigarette lighter no I'll use a flashlight a grounded flashlight <laughs> I remember way back in the day you know growing up and I mean somebody went to look in their battery to see the water level and it blew up in their face because they used a cigarette lighter oh the things we do when we're stupid teenagers nope it wasn't me it was a it was a it was a hang around kid he was okay we hosed him off with the garden hose because you know back in the day we you know 
garden hoses were readily available to drink from and hose each other down with. And Yeah, I used to turn down this road all the time, um, but I want to go straight. I don't want to go through the strawberry fields today. Uh, I don't know. just want to take a little bit of a longer ride. Do something my speed here. Just cruise. Talk nonsense to you folks. Yeah, I got my reasons. I just want to go out here until it get turns into 37 and, um, and then what? And then I'll make a right hand turn, head south, and um, wait, make my way home. I told my wife I wouldn't be gone long. I just kind of wanted to do this mileage test. And I am going to do it one more time. And then I'll run the tank down to, you know, I'll, I'll, um, after I do the test the second time, then I'll burn off, you know, almost the whole tank of gas. And I'll have to take a look, see if I can look inside and see that float if I ran. Really wouldn't be able to trust it on a long trip, no siree. That would uh, that would just be freaking me out the entire time. So that's it for now. I'll tune you back in and I'll show you the Passat. But I know a lot of you probably don't believe me. Alrighty. Alrighty. This is going to conclude the ride for today, as usual, you know, give me a big thumbs up, hit that like button. Uh, there is the Passat, all dent free. Wow, I parked way over, look at that. A few people remember, if anybody remembers the pictures I posted, it was all smashed in. Trunk was all buckled up, I'll, I'll drop some pictures, um, I'll put some pictures in. Yeah, at the very end. All right, so that's uh, that concludes our um, trip for today. 38 point something miles to the gallon, so I can't complain about that. And I mean, that 38 miles to the gallon, that also includes a, um, what does it include? Oh yeah, I passed, um, I passed eight cars that were going 45 and a 60 and I had the uh, I was up over 100 miles an hour for you know a minute and a half that eats up some gas so why did I turn my flashes on all right so uh, that concludes today's um nonsense you all be good and as usual you know peace god bless